Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon at the top of the page to get notified when I post a new video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Universal Channeling Channeling the Conscious Universe Andrew's Revocation, Advanced Heart Meditation Tuesday, November 10, 2020 At 9.04 a.m. This will require a few layers of personal imagery. The challenge here is to allow the imagery to create as the voice, and the imagery as the voice, to create within yourself. The heart is a resonance process, and what I am assisting here is the resonance process. This mediation and teaching is one, by design, to give energy to that frequency, to that knowingness, that wisdom. Here is a set of imageries that you can create within your own mind that will assist you at the advanced levels of clearing the heart. Breathe and relax. Breathe and relax. Come into oneness. Whatever that truly means to you in that moment. Come into unity. Whatever that means to you in this moment. Allow distraction to fall away. Allow your knowingness to expand. Allow your life force to be at its highest potential. For what we are about to go on is a journey of a heart, and its understanding of perspectives, and how perspectives create misunderstandings, and how misunderstandings create processes within us, that have mind trails into nowhere. I'd like for you to summon, in your own mind, the medical image of what a heart looks like. I want you to see an open heart in a chest that does not cause fear in you. You are not a being of fear. Allow yourself to see the image of the heart muscle, its valve, aorta, the veins, the muscles. That is the physical representation of what started you as a little micro-being, when a sperm and an egg met, and the first cells that were created made the heart. This is your first step into knowingness. This heart muscle has grown to this stage that you are today, and it's a part of every experience you have ever been, and every experience you will have ever been in the past, present, and the future. Give this heart muscle love. That is the very essence of the self-loving being. Bring energy to this heart muscle that is inside you. Bring it rainbows, butterflies, wisdom, knowingness, life story, experience, joy, happiness, and all of those things that make this life great. This heart muscle is your interacting point of consciousness. It is the moving frequency of time. Allow this heart muscle to have complete and total access to your brain, wisdom, intellect, sympathetic, parasympathetic. Allow this heart muscle neural access, to all aspects of the physical body that have been disconnected through trauma or spirit energy. Allow this heart muscle to come into union with the spinal column, and all of the other fascia around the heart muscle. That's that white, stringy substance in the images. Allow this to relax, so the heart is not under pressure from the body. Oftentimes we take damage to the heart from loved ones that have caused us trauma, or pain. It goes to the fluid energy inside the pericardium. Summon the image of a pericardium around your heart. Send energy to the very fluid that is the center of the pericardium. Understand every cell and atom that's within the fluid sac needs to be revitalized, refilled, repaired, renewed, and recycled, for there is where we hold some of the most ancient parts of this lifetime, and of other lifetimes too. Go directly into the values that create the pumping action. See inside your very blood, your very life essence flow. Focus your intellect upon this heart muscle and pumping action. Allow your intellect to understand how this pumping of blood, the spiritual machine that started you at birth, as the most vital organ in your body. It must have complete and total access to the being you are, on all levels of awareness, in full protection with the I am, self now. There can no longer be any other form of dislocation, mislocation, or non-access. The heart is where we began. It is not a point to be misused. Allow the energy in. The heart is surrounded by the pericardium, a protective sac that holds fluid. So when the heart is pumping at higher or lower rates, the fluid assists the muscles pumping so it does not have to use as much energy. See this frequency. See this pericardium as the shell of the heart. Here is where we must make conscious application of the sacred, so the heart muscle is in alignment with this meditation. Can you expand the heart's green and red energy? Flow with it. See this log in energy into the pericardium as it cleans like a power washing system, like a car going through a car wash, a thunderstorm coming through your heart. Allow this deep into you that cleansed feeling with protective armor around your heart. You must empower with this with new imagery. The pericardium is now the filter, so time is not as damaging to the heart. The pericardium is now the filter that allows the heart more frequency when the mind experiences no time. So the heart and mind are no longer disconnected by resonant frequency. Empower, and imprint this into your pericardium. The pericardium must now regularly be cleaned as part of your meditative upkeep. 
This is your continuous upkeep of our spiritual beliefs and processes. Focus on your central nervous system. It is the interco-creating and interconnected with every beat of the heart, with every action of every cell, within every creation of fluid excretion, that creates some form of biomechanical reaction. The heart is completely a part of it. You must bring your awareness in that heart muscle, connected to its shell pericardium. Bring your mind, your intellect, your ego, your sympathetic, and parasympathetic, into that heart muscle. Those are all the connections you need into this reality. That is your central nervous system. Bring them into sacred neutral witness, in spiritual cord of equity. From the heart muscle that began at birth, declare that frequency inside your heart. Illuminate all aspects of your central nervous system, like branches of trees going off in every direction, with roots that go off in every other direction. Bring the golden frequency of light to the roots and branching system of the central nervous system. Allow your mind, that's within your heart, to co-create with this golden light flowing to all parts of your body, mind, and soul. Challenge your intellect to have the imagery and discipline to co-create the light source. Challenge your sympathetic to allow your body this experience. Challenge your parasympathetic to let down and allow the mystical to occur. In this moment of full light, from the heart, we must understand walking forward means we must have to understand the very blood within the body. That is, the heart is pumping at all times. We must go into the marrow of our own bones. At this moment, summon an image of your skeletal system. Wherever there is a hollowness in a bone, there is marrow that is producing blood cells, that is connected to a system that brings blood into the body. This is your central focus. All of those hollow points within the bone that create blood. Your femur is one of the biggest areas that creates marrow. Your ribs. Your arms. All this is constantly creating blood about every 56 days. Here is where you take command from the heart that is connected to all fluid and interactive systems, through the central nervous system, to the blood, to the marrow. Go into the marrow and create this golden light. Every aspect of it is saturated. All of the current blood in my system is now clean and cleansed with this golden light. All aspects in the blood, that are bringing out an illusion of the heart, mind, or soul, are now converted with this golden light into creation, inspiration, and dreams. The heart is a transformation, transmutation, vessel of life force. Anything in its blood can be transmuted at will, when connected with the I am, heart fetus being, for the higher purpose of clearing and understanding our reality. Take this knowledge deep into your mind. Connect it to the heartbeat of you. Allow the blood to be cleared. All of the blood has now been cleared. You will have to regularly go back and look at your blood, and understand we take on energy from others into our blood. Some, at the surface of our auras, and others, deep into our blood. We must actively clear that blood much like saging a room. The next step of your visualization. The depthness of your marrow. This is where you put the next imprint of what it is you want out of life. It is where we begin to seek the mystical and the sacred. When you imprint, it's upon the marrow that will be creating blood for the next 56 fraud days. Make this command to all marrow cells, I want inspiration, mystical experience, that I'm able to process, understand, and not be afraid of. I want mystical contact with my guides, my angels, my guardians, so that I can return with full understanding, or enough understanding to co-create a future in which I go forth, with my own divine source power. These are the types of imprints you want to bring. Allow your mind a minute here to create one for yourself. For each time you go into the marrow, you always want to double down, put more upon it, because this is your ability to co-create, as a multidimensional being, and channel your own agenda for the very blood within you. For the blood that is to be produced for the next three days, you are under special energies. You are bringing the highest form of co-creation and spirit into my being, so I may see higher frequencies, so I may shed off inner traumas and transmute any heart damage into joy and happiness, so I may summon more strength to make more of my soul present. It is your divine, co-creative right to speak and embody these words. The next layer now is your heart chakra. The oral energy system that creates the photonic light intersection of a soul stream, manifest in the body of now. It is a spiraling, green frequency, front and back. I want you to bring the image of your own face and overlay it over your heart, mind and soul. That is your residual image of this lifetime. Your heart, your face. This is the I am presence now. Past versions of you have different residual images, but share the same soul light frequency. You must connect this being of residual image to this being of now heart. You must clear out the medulla, that chooses adrenaline action before heart-based action. 
actively disconnect the medulla from direct adrenal gland action, or any emotional response that's not directly related with heart space action. The heart will always know when to act, or react, for it has learned, very much, over this lifetime, how this reality works. State to your heart, I am not afraid of light switches turning on or off. I shall not have flinch response ready for something in an invisible corner. I turn off all systems of paranoia and allow myself, this being, that was born in this technology, who's gone through the birth and the great forgetting and the great remembering of who I am, I bring forth into that being. I disempower the sympathetic and parasympathetic from creating any new programs, and delete any other programs that disconnect this I am, from my central nervous system, or my ability to co-create with my blood, my bone marrow, and my chakra system. Allow that imagery of your mind, and your face, and the heart, interconnected, through the central nervous system, interconnected in co-creating with every blood cell that is you. Take this imagery to the next level, and you will have your mystical moment of experience every day of your life. See you in the dream world. Andrew Bartsis. Website, andrewbartsis.com.